Hello, this is Lance Wolf, and this is Iron Wolf Productions. This is the ASSC, All Terrain Salt Sealed Crawler. Uh, the inspiration for this, well, what I should first get to is this is one of an original set of three background vehicles that I designed for my graphic novel, Magnesium Bow, back in 91. And it's some of my more earlier work. Uh, this is probably may have been the third thing I'd ever built at that time. And the inspiration for it, uh, I wanted something equivalent to something that would serve as train tracks, because originally that's where I was going with this. And I wanted a vehicle that looked like a, a platform. It also had to work in a very severe weather environment. And so I wanted a sealed cockpit. So as the thing developed, I also thought with the train element in mind that I would also want to have like water towers spaced along certain areas to help service the vehicle. And like this vehicle would head out over hundreds of miles to service uh, large zone marker light poles. So that was another reason the vehicle had to be looked like it was long enough that it could hold a rack like if you were to put a ladder on the side of a truck where it could hold poles and then erect them. So as the, the idea developed, it developed in a way that I thought Let's have all the cowling removed off it, as if uh, it was getting too much and too difficult to keep the engine clean in the severe environment. So it just became a stripped down engine exposed to the environment and see with lots of uh, you know, uh, pipes to conduct air and vents through special filters to it. It can look like something in, this engine can work in a contained, really harsh environment. And that's what, how the vehicle evolved. And it was one of the water towers I was talking about. Now, uh, this vehicle, based on the parts of this vehicle, meant that the scale of this uh, model was a different scale. That's why I had to choose different uh, figures here for it. Uh, now, this vehicle runs, I'm assuming the way I'd originally thought of it, that it would be runs on water. And it would require a driver and a commander, just like, a, like in a tank. And so here's this vehicle stripped way down. Uh, the cockpit acts like a clam shell. It opens up like there possibly be like a dune buggy type uh, interior. And then a large periscope on the front, which would also serve as a searchlight that can turn from right to left. So the vehicle could drive like using a, a periscope type design. And that's how I envisioned the pilots driving, like with a periscope and a commander, as they travel hundreds of miles through the most severe weather on the planet, servicing these zone marker lights uh, that border uh, a forbidden zone, which is in my novel, not to give away too much of the plots of the story. But so that's how the model developed. It developed with this large flat platform where the cowling had been removed, and you see this sealed engine that's designed to work in a severe environment. and. Uh, it's rusted and it has this one uh, you know periscope type uh, light on the front which also serves as a video camera uh, for the uh, commanding off for the uh, for I should say the, the commander and the uh, the, uh, the the driver uh, and that's what how this how this came about and it came out of also a very uh, uh, early time in my in my story where I tried to put so much into each model that uh, I was hoping they'd have enough backstory that if I were to do it as a comic book, uh, you could couple of episodes just on these guys and their adventures. Uh, but that's what I, this is again, one of a, a set of three of background vehicles and what determined uh, the scale of the, uh, the figures was based on the parts I had to make this model. And I hope you're enjoying this video. And what's coming up next are the rough sketches that went into the original design. And when I mean rough, they are incredibly rough. It's basically just to rough out the form. Uh, I wasn't worried too much about detail. Uh, I wanted the sealed cockpit. I wanted the stripped down platform. Uh, basically, it was a way to just rough out the forms and then the actual detail would come with, by applying the parts. Thank you so very much for watching this video. This is Lance Wolf.